Hello everyone and welcome to the review and the rant of the remote for the new GoPro 9. Uh, it's a rant because uh, the old uh, GoPro remote was fine and worked for several of their models including the 8 and the GoPro Hero 9 it's actually based on the Hero 8 and they both share the same main chipset. Uh, you do get more resolution, more LCDs like the advertisement but these cameras are very similar internally so it would have not been a brainer to make this remote also compatible with this one but probably most of the GoPro buyers already had this so GoPro came up with the idea let's sell them something new so uh, we are going to delete the possibility of using this from the Hero 9 and we are going to come up with a new remote the best remote until now as always it's best if you buy it now and next year it will be obsolete and you are going to need to buy something else all right so rent is over now we are going to see if the remote really worth the money and here in the box we get manuals all right and we get another gopro charging cable at least it's usb type c now and that's a good idea and we get the strap and the remote itself size wise it's similar with the old remote and the weight is also similar thickness it's almost the same all right so let's uh, try to pair it up so i'm going to start the camera right let's start the remote uh, this new one has an extra button so it has a power switch here you get the settings and mode and recording button while on the old remote you only had three buttons so should be kind of more easy to use or not it's actually similar I do like the new design as it has this protected charging port here no longer having these ugly contacts sticking out always getting dirty and sometimes you had trouble when you wanted to charge with this specially designed cable this would not make contact so you need to unplug it and use a cotton swab or something to clean those and try it again and again and again uh, until it worked so the design it's uh, kind of better it's more ergonomic and more sleek and you don't need to use this anymore and you can get this working on your camera on your mobile phone on your laptop so usb type c it's kind of the future all right so let's power this on battery low powering off all right i thought that i have started it before so i am going to give it some electric juice and let's see if it's going to work while it's charging nice LED here shows that it's charging this is not right so it's at 73% uh, battery and before it was not uh, working because battery was too low I don't like that and let's see will it start? nope it will not start so I'm going to unplug this and let's try to start it back on and guess what mm, battery too low and it's powering off all right so i'm going to let it charge for some time but if the battery is that low it should have said that it's at zero percent one percent five percent ten percent not at seventy seven percent all right so it's been something like 10 15 minutes and now it's saying that it's uh, fully charged so hopefully it will work but uh, it's strange how that started so let's try to power it on battery low it's powering off all right so after another 10 minutes it has uh, finally started uh, it was still showing fully charged whatever so I'm going to pair new 
and it says here that I should put the camera in pairing mode so I'm going to go here and I'm going to select remote and connection was successful here and this one is still showing that it's connecting all right and now I have the remote working it's showing already 89% battery that's of course weird and let's see how this goes so you have this big button here of course starts the recording shows the profile there and let's see here I can change the mode from this button photo time-lapse video then I have the settings button here and I can select the needed profile and with the up down keys now I can select my desired profile and I can confirm it with the shutter button um, it's nice to easy navigate up down with these buttons but uh, if you strap this on your hand it might not be that easy to use as uh, you will have to do something like this on the side and the position is also weird uh, although the remote has the same layout with the screen button and this band the screen it's kind of sideways uh, let's see if it has an option here to rotate it and with a short press of the power button I have this orientation and you can rotate the screen which is nice so that's much better now and it makes a lot more sense using it like that so they kind of thought of that and you have options to rotate it in any kind of uh, needed position right so that's good we have several languages let's check that out so plenty to choose from then we can reset it and exit so that's all the remote settings so there you go it kind of works uh, but I'm worried about that battery I'm going to let it charge more but I think that something is wrong with it maybe the firmware it's not detecting the battery voltage properly and doing that it will not calculate the capacity so this being brand new and probably over discharged I'm going to let it charge for a longer period of time but now I'm going to do another test I'm going to shut this off and now back on and it's no longer starting so definitely a problem there and another thing so the remote shuts down but didn't shut down the GoPro like the old remote which had the option to turn on and turn off the camera so it's not what you are thinking of brand new remote great remote it's kind of a fail remote all right so after some thinking and uh, drinking more coffee although it's uh, midnight uh, while i'm filming this i thought of trying some things uh, with uh, the remote and uh, guess what now the remote with this low battery warning can be powered on if you do something like uh, uh, pushing the power button several times it starts so that's rather stupid but it works uh, and now as you can see it will not connect to the camera and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks although they are going to make the remote work and the 
battery of the remote is fine and it will work for a long time but the stability of the connection between the remote and the GoPro it's hideous it's actually almost not working at all and I'm going to show you why so this remote is now trying to connect the camera and it's trying to turn it on uh, which worked perfectly with the old remote and the GoPro 8 if I turn the remote on the camera will start right away but it's not happening with the GoPro 9 and this thing is still connecting right now and it has finally connected and now the remote is working fine like nothing has happened so uh, it's definitely something with them you can also power off the camera now uh, but not with the power button because why turn off the remote if you do not want to turn off the camera but why have a power button uh, that stops the system but doesn't stop it yeah it makes perfect sense so you need to press and hold this button now for a pretty long time and now it turns off the camera while the remote will remain in standby and you need to use the power button to turn it off I don't know what they have uh, been thinking of doing that and now I could turn on the camera back on but it's a 50-50 chance that the GoPro will not work again and nope this time it's not working and it wants a new pair or something like that right so to make this work you are going to shut the remote off I'm going to turn back the camera and I'm going to turn on the remote and now the battery is low so I'm going to storm the power button a few times and keep it pressed again and again and hopefully this thing will start and look at that now it's working and it's going to connect back again and just like that it's now kind of working but if I want to turn off the camera and start it back on I have to go into the settings of the camera I'm going to go to the connections and you have here an option to reset connections and I'm going to reset the connections then I'm going to go in the uh, settings for the remote and I'm going to reset the remote and here you go and now I'm going to leave the remote just like that I'm going to go into the camera menu I'm going to go back into the connections and I'm going to click on uh, connect devices and I'm going to select remote and just now I'm going to select pair new here and it will pair right away perfect and now the remote will work and I can change the modes it's it simply works as it should and now I can turn off the GoPro and it's turning it off and I can uh, power it back on and it does power on now and I can also turn off the remote but let the GoPro run uh, so everything works but if you leave it for half an hour one hour two hours several hours then it will not work and it's showing us how it's not working right now so the remote it's simply kind of useless in this condition because it works but you need to pair it almost every time and it will work until you start to turn the camera on or off and then it will no longer work if I turn the camera back on manually the remote will work because it will find the camera after all and I can control it but you need to manually turn on the remote and turn on the camera very smart very smart but I prefer the old remote and the old camera even with the old and not very smart charging cable for that also because I've drank a lot of coffee 
I can tell you something else. So when you start this and it says battery low and is powering off and I'm going to press the button several times until it starts. So I want to power this on because I want to use it. So it doesn't have battery but it has battery so it will start after all. So I'm going to push and push and keep it pressed uh, because that's how it works. and it has full battery and I'm going to pair this now again yet again so I'm going to reset the connection here because it's a GoPro so you need to reset it all the time And I'm going to go back to the connections and I'm going to connect the device and I'm going to connect the remote and I'm going to pair the new remote. And it has paired successfully. And when I was telling you the battery level here, this is actually not the battery level of the remote. It's the battery level of the GoPro, which is normal to be displayed here, but you actually don't have any display of the remote battery. So this will run exactly until precisely it will run out of batteries. And that's it. You don't know when that will happen because it doesn't have any kind of indicators for that. Yet again, very smart. So, as you can see, the smart remote for the GoPro Hero 9, it's a real success, it works perfectly, it can even shut down the camera, and sometimes it can even manage to turn it back on, but only when it wants to, and only if it wants to, and only if it has battery, because it's fully charged, you get the idea, this thing is kind of useless, uh, it's money spent for nothing and they could still have used this one so that was it for now i'm tired and i don't want to mess with this anymore until my next video see you and bye bye